What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this funky little end screen in Videoscribe for YouTube and that's coming up next. <laughs> Okay, I'm downloading all the icons from this website, iconfinder.com. I'm downloading them as SVGs because Videoscribe draws SVGs really well as opposed to JPEGs or any other file format. They are all going to be round icons because they will match with my YouTube subscribe button. If you download any icons from this website and there are any licenses attached to the icons, like Creative Commons 2.5 or 3.0, please credit the author in the description or wherever else that you're putting your icons onto, like your website. Okay, so let's jump on into Videoscribe and I'll show you how I created the outro animation. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is select a background color. And for now, I'm going to go with a dark gray, but I'm going to change it to black later on I've noticed that you can't actually see the formatting when you're working with a black background color. And now I'm going to import my first item, which is my camera logo. And I'm going to go into image properties and I'm going to change the logo to white. And I'm going to animate it for half of a second, pause it for no seconds and put a transition for half of a second. And instead of drawing it, I'm going to have it move in from the top left and I'm going to do that with no drawing hand whatsoever. I'm going to change it to silhouette because that seems to show up the actual logo in white. So now I'm going to type my name and I'm going to use the limelight font, which is the font that I have used for my website and my logos for quite a while now. And once again, I'm going to have it move in. I'm going to do that from the bottom this time. And I'm going to animate that for a second with zero pause and half a second transition. Once again, select no drawing hand. And I think it's pronounced Sigoprint. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I'm going to write another video. And underneath here, when I come to do the outro in YouTube on the end screen, I'm going to put a video. I'm going to choose a video. I'm going to put it underneath. Animate that for half a second. Pause for one and a half seconds. And transition for one second. And this time, instead of smoothing in, I'm going to bounce that in from the left. And again, using no hand to animate these icons and these names. I'm also going to use the Sego print for the subscribe text. And I'm going to animate that for half a second, pause it for zero and transition one second. And I'm going to bounce that in from the right. When we jump on over into YouTube, I'm going to show you how I put the subscribe button right next to that text. Interesting stuff, isn't it? And as you can see, it can be a little bit tricky trying to get the text in the right position and the right sizes, but with a little bit of time and love, you can do it quite easily. All the icons are animated for half a second uh, with a zero pause and a zero transition. I'm going to have all the icons bounce in from the left and like every single item in this scribe there is going to be no hand to move and type these items. All my social media names are going to be drawn in the Courier new font. and they are all going to be animated for half a second, pause for zero, and transition for one. And this time, they are not going to move in. I am going to use the drawn function, so I'm gonna draw them in, but with no hand. With a bit of tweaking, you can get the layout just right. 
I think it's important to make sure that the icons and the text are all the same sizes so you have to do a little bit of faffing around comparing sizes and matching up let's just whiz through this bit and now I'm going to change the background to black for maximum effect and when you play and download the video in video scribe always uncheck zoom at end otherwise it just zooms in and it just doesn't look very good so this is the animation coming out of video scribe now let's jump on over to YouTube where I can add the end screen video and the subscribe button but first let me just quickly show you how to export this video scribe scribe thingy so to export you literally just head on up to the share button at the top you click on the download you choose the format you want to save your work in and the frame rate which I've chosen 50 and it's full HD and you just click the tick button and that's how you export your video scribe scribe thingy now let's jump on over to YouTube okay so this is how it all comes together here we are in YouTube and I'm at the end screen and annotations page so the outro is currently animating and as soon as another video pops in the split second after it does I'm going to add element and I'm going to choose a video from my previous playlist I'm going to choose this still life photography flowers video for now just so I can show you how this works now I'm going to put the subscribe button in and I'm going to do that as soon as the word subscribe pops up notice how the circular subscribe button matches the circular social media icons and this is the final outro this is how it plays out thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already done so and like the video thank you guys i'll see you soon